Um, it looks like we have an urn next to us. It's I would not. like it's to a, disclose that's it's a, a vase. It's a flower vase. We have no one's ashes next to us. Yeah. What is up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. This probably seems a little different, hence the mics. They're making a return for this video. Mm -hmm. We know you guys loved the A1 Unfiltered podcast, but unfortunately, it's just not top of our priority. It's not something we're doing anymore, but we thought we would bring a podcast type video back for this video on our channel. Who is pulling into our driveway? Probably Amazon. Okay. So we just wanted to do like a longer sit down video. And if you guys like these in the future, like let us know. Um, but let's, let's talk about LA. Let's spill the tea. Why we left. The let's tea. The tea. Everything about it. So, so, so get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. Get your favorite drink. Sit down. Relax. And let's get into the juice. So obviously we're back home. Okay, LA didn't last very long. For those of you guys that don't know, we were supposed to be there for six months. We ended our lease very early. Within a month and a half. <laughs> very early. But we were in LA for like two months. Yeah, prior we were there to for that. like two and a half months. But um, I just want to clarify this and like say this because a lot of people were like, oh, like, why don't you just stay the six months? Once me and Julia know, like, we're done or like, we're done. It's just like, you know the cookies are baked when they're nice golden brown. Why are you going to overcook them and burn them? We are the type of people that once we set our minds to something, we do it. Mm. Whether it be stupid, whether it be great, we do it. And going to LA wasn't stupid. We got the peace of mind we needed. We needed clarity for our future. Because, you know, there were so many instances like, do we want to pull? Like at our house in Massachusetts. And we were like... Well, what if we move? Or like even the nights the we basement. would go on Zillow. Or the basement. Yeah. We were like, mm, well, we would be pulling up houses in LA. We would be pulling up houses in Boston, comparing them. And then now just, we can cross LA it out. Just, it just made us feel shitty about here. Which yes. we shouldn't feel like that. Like I'm so blessed, thankful, grateful to have this. But even before, and I've said this multiple times, before we even met, both of us, we've wanted to go to California, live in California so many different times. When we got together, we've even said, we should go to California. And before we settle down and decide to have kids and all of that stuff, we want to know where we're going and we want to know what we're doing and we want to have a clear headspace. Yeah. And that has always, and if you're an OG, that has always been in the back of our head mm -hmm. every winter. I mean, we've gone to LA so many times thinking we're moving there, touring houses, etc. So we finally got to the point where we, put we the were like, to we rest. need to shut up. We shut it down. And we need to do something about this, yeah. which we did. But like Saad said, it, it made us get annoyed with Massachusetts. It gave us this hatred where we were like, oh, Massachusetts is boring. There's nothing for us to do there. Blah, blah, blah. We can do so much better in LA. When honestly, the reality that we learned and we saw is... We have built this empire on our own mm -hmm. where we have always been, which is Massachusetts. Yeah. Yes, being in LA is great to be nearby things like events, friends, etc. Obviously, the food. The food is great. The food yeah. is so great. <laughs> Obviously, you know, there's great opportunities out there. But at the end of the day, it's really not a make or break. Like being in LA was not making our career skyrocket and we just realized we don't actually have to be here to succeed. Like we've been the successful on our own in Massachusetts and there's really not that much more to do. And I'm happy we all came to this agreement because I was scared that Julia was going to love it or Antonio was going to love it. But all of us quietly were thinking, you know, after these six months, we're not doing it. We are not doing it after this. But, you know, we just all came to that conclusion earlier. And on, honestly, I'm happy we did. Just because those six months, like once we made up our mind and we were aware, hey, this isn't for us. We weren't going to last. We were going to be uncomfortable. We wasn't going to be... Antonio was mean. Let me tell you. So this is something that happens to a lot of people. LA sucks your soul dry. It didn't suck his okay. soul. Mind no, I'm not no, saying I'm just it sucked saying. his soul dry, but I'm, I'm saying... He was like mean. It happens in LA. <laughs> people change. I'm not saying... Antonio didn't Antonio change. did not uh, this change. Is, this is, him being mean led me down this, this path of conversation. Yeah, he just it's didn't just like it. It's just a fact. A lot of people change when you go to LA. People lose their morals, their priorities, etc. They go down bad paths. And I think wonderland the song wonderland we yeah. listened to it the other day um it was it like, describes la a lot yeah. um it's funny because i'm wearing an la t-shirt under this 
What what were the words? It was like I bought a one way ticket to uh, Wonderland, Wonderland just, just to, to find, find out, out it was closed. closed. If we get copyrighted for saying that, bro. No, and then it was like um, it was filled with fake, just uh, broken dreams, fake designer, and basically like no happiness. Yeah, it, false hopes. That's what it said. False hopes. Mm-hmm. So. It just summed up LA pretty well. It summed up LA living there wise, but when we go to visit, it's great. We have the time of our lives. We are partying. We're, we're turning up every night. Like it's so fun, and that's what we realize. It's a place to visit. It's definitely not a place to. I live. think it's great to live there if you're the party type. Like you're going or fast paced all the fast. time to party for sure. Like you're constantly doing something. You're going to every single event you get invited to. But me and Sod are very introverted we're mm. homebodies we have a small group of friends and like we're not going out every night like that when we go on vacation yeah like that's our excuse to dress mm. up every night go out go but to fancy dinners I, go to the club i will say there are people that do live regular lives without social media there and i know that that's a thing but for us we couldn't see anything else for ourselves we do know you can still you know have a normal life there's you know what i mean well, and it's yeah, not even 100%. normal it's just like we just liked the comfort that Massachusetts gave us and California just wasn't doing that for us. And, and a lot of people were like, oh, like you should stay longer. Once you know something, you know, like once you, you got to trust your gut and that's what we did. And we're blessed and thankful to be able to say we tried something, but it just wasn't going to work. Yeah. You know, I was so thankful for all the things that we did do out there. And like, it sucks because I did have a whole different group of friends out there that I don't have out here. I love my friends everywhere. But some of my friends like really experienced the same exact things I experienced. And as a trans man, that's really hard to come by. Mm -hmm. Finding other trans people that really do relate to you and like really sticking to them and really becoming close with them and like being able to like tell everything to them too and them to relate to it it sucks to leave them but like i was literally on facetime with them today so it's like yeah leaving they're them still here your friendship's gonna end yeah it's just like i wasn't going to be comfortable living in california and it's not for everybody you know it just wasn't for us i think something for me personally is I love our job. I believe we are beyond blessed. I believe we have the best jobs in the world. I will always say this. I will always stand by it. Social media has always been my dream and doing it is a dream. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I like to escape it. I like like to do social media when it's time to do social media. And when the cameras are off, I like to have the normal life. And in LA... It's kind of hard to escape and feel like you're living that small town, cozy life. It kind of always feels like social media mode is on. It kind of always feels like it's about the followers. It's about how everything's doing when in Massachusetts, everything's quiet. It's not. It's like you don't. I don't really think about it here as much. I don't either. I it's go like on turned my off. day. I go on norga- normal Target runs. The hardest thing. The hardest thing for me there. We can say it on the count of three. Please be say it. Say it on the count of three. Ready? What was the worst thing about LA? Three, Three two, two, one, one time, time zone. zone. The, uh, listen, if you grew up there, you're going to get used to it. You're aware. It's fine. But for me personally, I grew up in Boston. Being on the East Coast. I love it. I was, I would, I would get so like upset with myself. Like, bro, you need to wake up at like 7 a.m. to like be on East Coast time. And no, that we were gonna genuinely happen. stressed. We were genuinely stressed about this. Like a lot. Like we like, always felt behind. And like work. we would tell people that, and they're like, "What?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, seriously." Like it would really stress me out, and especially like you said, that hominess. One of the things that really made us feel like home that we still couldn't even have in California is playing video games with our friends, and that might sound so minimal. It might sound so stupid. It might sound so stupid, but like our we, friends were asleep. We cherish those moments, and like we talk to them, and that that's our way of communication with everybody. And it sucks because like as as we're about to get on. Everybody's getting off. So when it came to those normal moments when the camera was off and the things that made us feel like we were just living our day-to-day life and home and connection with our friends, you know, the people we loved and cared about were asleep, you know, besides the friends that we had in LA, but like, it's not like we were seeing them every day. Mm -hmm. So that was really sucky. And a majority of our fan base is on the East Coast. Yeah. So I know you guys felt a disconnect. Mm -hmm. We felt a disconnect. And ultimately, like, 
it wasn't worth it. And even reading the comments, you guys agreed and were like, you know what? I'm honestly, and I've read these comments saying, you know what? I'm so happy that like you found yourself and you you didn't go into this lifestyle. And it wasn't like this lifestyle was ever going to drag us in because we've no. been to California a bazillion times. Yeah. I still love it to visit. I just personally know we cannot live there. Like it's just, it's just not it. We're East Coast babies. But I'm so happy we figured that out because now my mind is at ease and I'm like, you know what? This is where we're going to settle down. This is where we're going to have kids one day. This is, this is, this is, this is it. Like we checked it off completely. There's nowhere else we want to live. There's nowhere else we really want to go. We do want to travel, but like Massachusetts is our home. And the thing is when it is cold and we want to escape and we get tired of Massachusetts, that's when we go travel. And honestly, like LA was more exciting to me when we were visiting there. Yeah. Because it felt more of a trip. Living there every day, it kind of became less exciting. Don't get me wrong. The weather was amazing. Beautiful. It was beautiful, but it wasn't enough. Mm. And also, like, it would be like you're in your nice house, and then you step out of your house, and it's just, like, very unsafe, very... Yeah, for sure. Very not put together. Like, it, it just... It was definitely a lot more, like, populated, too. So it's like... we Just when, run down. And yeah. So when it comes to like going there to visit, I love it. But like staying there, no thank you. It's just personally not for me, you know? Same. But What was I going to say? I was literally I was just... going to give an update on Pi because a lot of people oh, wanted to know yeah, about what happened to Pi. We didn't put in the, the vet clips in our last video. I'm sorry, I forgot. No, but we didn't put the vet clips in from... Um, uh, what was it? Where were we? Where did we go? That's why in the road trip. No, yeah, we but didn't I put mean, it in. We, we brought him to the vet again. After yeah. That, so go ahead. Um, Pi's okay. <laughs> Pi's okay for everybody that was wondering. He did have a scare. He did. Like, have he had a, a scare, scare a couple days ago, but we didn't really talk about it on YouTube. We talked about it on Snapchat. So basically, to make a long story short, he was very stressed. The car ride was very stressful for him, and. The way his body reacted to it was like an allergic reaction, but it wasn't an allergic reaction. He just kind of swelled up. He was super dehydrated. He wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped at an ER with 10 hours left in our car ride, somewhere random in Ohio. But they were really good. Like, they, we checked the reviews. They were like, good. They, were they good. gave him lots of fluids. They gave him um, a Benadryl shot, a steroid shot, and a an nausea. anti nausea shot. Yep. So he was good to go home. They were like, he's safe. Like, everything's fine. So we come home and. Monday night, he explosive diarrhea is er everywhere on and the like, carpet in our bedroom. He's done this before. Like sometimes it's just like a Frenchy thing. I was like, but oh, this we were like, we got to take him. His tummy hurts, and all the swelling on his head went away. He had a bunch of swelling on his head that was all gone after the ER. It was like it looked like a bug bite. Like you guys seen it, but bigger. Yeah, but I called our vet, and I was like, he doesn't feel good. I know him. He's not acting right. Whatever. Took him in. And they were like, you know what? We don't want to tell you the one thing we worry about. I believe this is what it was called. If I was wrong, please correct me. Is something in Merle Frenchies that they can get is called ma mass cell tumors. And mass cell tumors, most of the time are cancerous. They're not very good. And the way they present themselves when they flare up is mimicking an allergic reaction, which is kind of what he was having. And it makes the dogs not feel good, causing diarrhea, vomiting. He wasn't eating his food. He was dehydrated, you know? So they were like, we're not saying that's it. We just want to make you aware because he had something on his side. And they were like, it was like a lump. It was like a pink lump. And they were like, just so you know, like that's, that's what it looks how like. They look like that's how they appear. Um, but it went away. Yeah. Right, it, right after we went to the vet. It disappeared. It went away. Basically, he was just dehydrated still. He got on some meds. As soon as we got home, he started eating. Mm -hmm. And he's doing really good now. But I will say, I think he's very mad we brought him home. I don't think he's happy. I think he really liked LA. I think he's an LA baby, guys. He's an LA baby. Guys, he's The so other mad. two are happy. I mean, they're sleeping right now. They're snugger than a bug. The other two are literally cuddling on each other right now. But this man is isolating himself. And I know he wasn't feeling good. But no, like, he's pissed. <laughs> he don't want to be here. He's like, he's like, why did you take the sunshine away from me? Why did you take my WALKs away from me? And it's like, we just got home. I'm going to take him on some WALK soon. But guys, it's 
what did he say? Like right now it's like literally so cold. It's freezing and he hates the cold. Like but he doesn't want to be in the cold. We did find the food that we started giving him like in LA. We found it here. He's so gobbling that up. He is dogging it and he is feeling a lot better and like pigs loving it. She hated it. She did not like pooping on that lawn, that she turf and stuff like that. She she likes shitting in the woods. Yes. So like <laughs> they're they're all doing good. We're all doing good and we're just trying to get everything all together. And one thing that really truly does suck too is we have a bunch of our stuff in a pod. And like with that pod, like is like half of my actual clothes now that I realized. Like I didn't think I bought All my a lot. clothes were here. I had no clothes yeah, in the Yeah, I'm just like wearing th- I only have like two hoodies here, I just realized. So you are crazy. It is so cold here. So back to like appreciating what we have. I have been like contacting so many people to like, I'm not even going to talk about it because I just had a headache with them earlier today. Basically, we're fixing up the yard. We're fixing up our house where we are appreciating our home. For a second, I feel like a very beautiful home. We, we're very blessed. We've always been aware we have a beautiful house, but it was like we could be doing this in California. We could have this. And like, we slowly, it started to go like hazy. Like we wasn't really paying attention. At the end of the day, it's like the East Coast and the West Coast are so separate. And although there's benefits to both sides, that East Coast love just ain't going away. I hope you guys enjoy this. Like us talking like this and just chilling. Like maybe we could do this every once in a while. Yeah, let us know because we can definitely incorporate these videos on our main channel because we're not going to dedicate this to a podcast. Mm -hmm. So if you do like it, we can throw them in. Um, I also wanted to say something else. What was it? I'm trying to think. Did you have something to say? Like, actually? Um, I think I was just going to touch base on the fact that, like, we are going to miss our friends. But I just tell myself and I remind myself that the friends I had in L.A., we've always been long-distance friendship. And it's always worked out well there. And, yeah. And I'm thankful for the people we have around us in mass. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, I think another big reason and big factor, like, I'm glad we got our answer early is because we are getting older and we are going to like settle down. Like want to start talking about having little babies. Why was that hard for you? Little babies <laughs> Why was that in hard? the future, like the next couple years. And I do not see that happening in LA. I don't either. I, I just don't. And so. your little babies are frozen over here. They, they, they are all. This is a much better place to raise a family. 28, 26, 26, 26. All 26 of them. All 26 of them. So, you know, we're just doing things to this house. And, like, a lot of people are like, oh, are you going to go to a different house? No, this this is our house. And, like, I'm grateful and, like, blessed every single day. And, like, I'm just, I'm just happy to be home. Like, it's just, like, it really is. Maybe I was taking it for, for granted for a second. And L.A. gave me a reality check. And I feel like we are here on this planet to learn and to experience and, you know, I'm happy that like we got to experience it and now we can put it to rest that we're not going to LA and we're here. That's true. Like it's done. Like we're never going to be like, oh, but in LA, no, we figured it out. We done did it. And, and like I said, some people are like, oh, you should have stayed the six months. No. no, I'm sorry. But like, once we know, we know. And, and it was it. also like, why? Then I felt once I knew I was like, okay, now we're wasting our time here. Let's start our life back home. And then we got the same excitement that like a kid would get on Christmas about going home. Yep. We were so excited. That car ride was hell. Yeah, that car ride was a lot. Hell. But. Anyway, I mean, honestly, that's basically it. Like, it's not like anything happened to us. It's not like there was drama. It was just, we miss home. And Antonio, stop being rude. As soon as he got oh, home. Oh, yeah. I guess we didn't touch on Antonio we didn't. being grumpy. Yeah. Me and LA Antonio had really, a fight. L- LA made him very mean. Me and Antonio fought. Not like a fist fight or anything. But no. like he was being really rude. And I told him, you but need to stop it. being rude. He said, him and Pi switched personalities. Pi became very nice when we went to LA. <laughs> and then Antonio became mean. And I, we came home and I Antonio Pi, became nice. And Pi became No. Himself. Pissed. Exactly. Himself. He became himself again, a grumpy little But right man. now, he's just chilling, sleeping. Aww. Everybody's sleeping. He was having fun outside. He was playing outside earlier today. Like, 
He's getting back into his schedule. He's starting to eat. He's starting to drink. I do feel Everybody's bad that good. we don't have a pool now because of them. But I'm not buying a pool for not them. Right I'm now. sorry. They can have their little pools well, in the summer. This is the thing. A lot of people ask that too. We have lakes. We have beaches. Yeah. But we have bodies of water around We have us. a lot of bodies of water. If we were landlocked, yeah. We need to also figure out if we need to cut some trees down because I just heard that tree. Okay. Well, I think we can end that here. <laughs> Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I, th I think so. Okay. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this style video, let us know. Um, give this a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more. With that being said, we, we love, love you guys. guys. We, we will see you later, later and stay, stay A1. A1.